Could a chai change your life? Kind of depends on who's making it. Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey, I'm Kyla Denagno and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. Today we're talking about the book, How to Kidnap the Rich. This book was written by Ruhal Reini. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense literature. So I'm going to switch things up. Typically I tell you a really interesting plot twist or a quote that I absolutely love from the book. In this case, I'm going to tell you that this is the funniest thriller I've ever read. Hilarious, okay? First of all, you have Ramesh, who is an education consultant. He trains people, he helps them. And you have Rudy, who gets helped by Ramesh, ends up getting famous. Ramesh wants to be paid for getting him famous. Then they end up kidnapping people. You lose a finger, you... What? The level of detail in the storytelling in this book is so good, right? I almost felt like I knew Claire. I was like, Claire could be anyone's guardian angel, right? Like Ramesh had this whole fairy godmother and had no idea how that was gonna come to play in his life in the future. And it's not, no, it, it is funny, haha. -ha. <laughs> because you get to hear it from Ramesh's perspective and Ramesh is like really sarcastic, really, really funny. And like he's narrating the whole story and it's almost like, He's telling it to you from a place of safety, like recounting all these things that used to happen. And it's, it's really great, right? So there's the car chase, which is great. There's the part where he writes about how he misses his finger, how it was a great finger, where he talks about the battle of the sirs. Hello, sir. Good day, sir. What do you need, sir? How much do you have, sir? What are you willing to pay, sir? And it reminds me of when you're in the Southern states in the US and someone says, bless your heart. And that's not a compliment. They're saying like, go off somewhere, jump into a cliff. That's basically what they're saying, but they're just saying the nice words. And so the battle of the stars I thought was absolutely hilarious. So it's important that I mentioned that the book was funny because this was a really tough tale, right? Ramesh has dealt with a lot of things in his life from being on the street and selling tea, from all the things that he heard from his father, from then trying to move up the ranks, trying to become better, even trying to fight with Rudy to try to get paid back for helping Rudy become famous, right? So there were a lot of really deep stories, but I thought that hearing it from Ramesh's voice, hearing it in that storytelling aspect was like, made you feel like you were reading Ramesh's diary or something, right? So yeah, would I read this book again? I would, <laughs> because it was hilarious. I would reread it, the cover jumped out at me, right? Like, how to kidnap the rich, come on. The book is not reminiscent of Slumdog Millionaire, but it did make me think of the movie because it was a rags to riches, how to better yourself, coming of age type story. So for that, it was kind of similar. But thank you for hanging out with me as we talk about this book. Let me know, have you read this book? Would the title throw you off, right? How to Kidnap the Rich. There were rich people in the book. There were a couple kidnappings. But overall, it's a story about how somebody changed their life, then missed what they had before their humble beginnings and how they kind of struggled to not lose themselves. So if that sounds at all compelling to you, go on and pick up this book, all right? So I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. <laughs> Bye.